All Recipes member Steven shared this recipe saying, my mom created this recipe for ham and beans and I really enjoyed it as a child. As an adult, my tastes changed, so I modified her recipe to kick it up a bit. This is a must make with leftover ham. Start by rinsing one pound of great northern beans under running water. Discard any shriveled or discolored beans and check for and discard any stones. Add them to a bowl or pot and cover the beans with eight cups of cold water. Let them soak overnight or for at least eight hours. Once the beans have soaked for at least eight hours, drain them and rinse them thoroughly with clean water. Place the beans in a large pot. Next, dice half of a pound of cooked ham. And dice one onion. Add the ham and the onion in with the beans. All Recipes member Valerie Ann commented that while she and her husband enjoyed the recipe, it was too sweet and too hot. So on the second try, Valerie cut the sugar back to one tablespoon and added an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. So let's do that here. And one tablespoon of dried parsley. And pepper to taste. Cover the ingredients with cold water and stir to mix everything. Bring the ham and beans to a boil over medium-high heat. Then reduce the heat and simmer the ham and beans covered for one and a half to two hours or until the beans are perfectly tender. Check the pot periodically and add more water if it's needed. If there's any scum on the surface, skim it off. Add salt to taste during the last half hour of cooking. The ham and beans should stay moist and juicy, so be careful not to let them dry out. Serve the ham and beans hot. One All Recipes member says this recipe for ham and beans is awesome, just like grandma used to make. Cornbread, rice, and wilted spinach make great sides for this dish. 